everybody, it's Greg the Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, today we're on Millennia, the brand new turn-based 4X civilization builder game by C-Prompt Games and published by Paradox Interactive. Uh, I played the demo of this a few months ago, um, and I've ever so briefly hopped into the first couple ages to kind of get the bearings on some of the mechanics. Um, but uh, this is going to be a brand new uh, Let's Play series, uh, so let's go ahead and hop in. New game. All right, so let's go ahead and choose our, our civilization. Now, I normally go with, if I'm trying not to do a civilization game, I usually start out as Rome. So let's let's go ahead and hop these guys off of Rome here, free up Rome. So let's, let's choose Rome. And as you can see here, uh, you have a number of national spirits that are already associated. Um, so it looks like we have discounted envoys currently. Culture tactics. So the cool thing about this is um, the national spirits can be um, allocated to any country. They're not necessarily locked in. Um, so you can choose from this list and just kind of see what works best for your gameplay. So I'm thinking... Um, now scout units are pretty darn helpful uh, for collecting that early XP... Um, also culture is pretty darn, uh, powerful for expanding our borders, but I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and go ahead with, uh, a scout unit. I think that's probably the best way moving forward. All right. So, uh, <laughs> We're in, we're into millennia. Interesting that our starting city is Alexandria and not Rome, but uh, hey, what are you going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to rename it. That's what we're going to do. Perfect. All right, so we've got Roma. Uh, as you can see here, it looks like, so we start um, with two war band units, um, early Stone Age military units. And we also... Oh, perfect. Uh, we actually um, also have our uh, scout unit as well. So scout cavalry. So we'll actually go ahead and send the scout cavalry out kind of the peripheries of our borders here to kind of see what we're working out with. Looks like we've got a bunch of fish. Some deer, some game, some more game down here. Looks like some hills, mountains. Might be good for mining. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and choose our first technology here. So, we've got a few options here. Farming, defenses, tribal elders, scouting, and workers. Let's hop back out and see kind of what we're looking at here. So, Tundra. Yeah, I don't know as farming would probably be the best technology for us to start out with our current map here. Now we could choose scouting. Um, that would unlock the lookout tower for that extra exploration XP creation. It would also give us another scout unit, which could be darn helpful. But I think I'm going to have to go with tribal elders. Um, that's going to allow us to construct the council building, uh, which is going to increase our knowledge per turn. Alright, so... Our first construction in Roma. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. So we've got cavalry warbands, some of the buildings here we could build currently. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and choose the town center. That's going to give us an extra uh, governmental XP creation per turn. Um, and this is pretty darn helpful because we're going to need this to... I want to get to 30 so we can recruit our first settler. All right, first turn done. All right, so we're just going to keep moving the uh, the scout along the coastline here. Oh, we can see we found our first barb camp. So barb camps are pretty powerful. Um, you're going to need kind of a, a sizable force to take them on, and crossing this river wouldn't be very helpful either. So let's go ahead and move this scout unit around. This terrain's going to slow us down a little bit. All right. 
So it looks like currently working grassland. Um, so ultimately, as you can see here, um, we need uh, food to continue to grow aroma. Um, we're at 200% growth right now, um, which is the highest that you can get. Um, so that's going to help speed up growth uh, of the city. And so um, another three turns, we'll have another pop. Um, I'm actually thinking maybe um, instead of building the town center, maybe we rush another war ban. I want to see if we can get rid of that. Uh, see if we can get rid of that barb cant down south here. Yeah, if we don't get rid of that barb camp, it's just going to keep spawning units like it is right now. Uh, it's going to continuously harass us. Oh, look at that. Our first goodie hut, or goodie village. Let's see if we can hop down there without getting slaughtered by that unit. All right, let's see if we can take these guys on. Yeah, it looks like we're exchanging fairly well. Excellent. So every time we win combat or engage in combat, we're going to generate warfare XP. Um, this is, you know, we can use this to unlock certain abilities later on, um, just like government XP or exploration XP. It's one of the cool things about Millennia that they're doing that's kind of innovative that I haven't seen in other 4X games, is the ability to accrue, um, you know, types of points um, that can only be used for certain types of modifiers and, and unlocks. I think it's a pretty cool concept. All right, so continue down. Ah, about our first village. The village is holding an auction to sell and trade its people's wares. Just think of that South Park episode with uh, with Randy uh, from Pagosa Springs down to sell by wares and such. All right, so we can add some wealth to Roma, or we could add some production. I'm going to go with production, if I can click on it. Perfect. Let's have those guys rest up and heal up. And, yeah, another turn, we'll have another warband, then maybe we can move on to this camp and try to take them out. So we do have enough culture points now uh, accrued, so we can use the culture power. So uh, there's a couple of things we could do here. We could do some local reforms, uh, increases our efficiency, raise an army, or create a town. Um, this is pretty powerful. It effectively allows you to extend your, your region's um, range out, your territory out, and to work out the resources potentially and other options like that. So let's go ahead and choose that. Ah, this is a tough one. Not really sure. Now, if we do... Um, there's a lot of fish out east here. It'd be great if we could extend out there, but we can't for whatever reason. Why we can't use this tile here? Maybe just because it has this this resource on it, this this game. Um. Yeah, we'll get close. All right. Names. All right, we got our first town. Perfect. All right, so we've unlocked enough tribal points um, that we can use these to unlock some of these um, options for our tribal government. Um, we could raise a tribal army, um, but I think what we're going to go with is this extra food production. Uh, it's going to be pretty powerful for helping expand Rome. Interesting. We met China. Surprised we met a new other player so quickly. We're very close to China. Hmm. That could be some problems for us, potentially. But, alright, that's okay. 
our warband is complete, so we'll go ahead and have this unit join our other forces. Let's go ahead and get started again on that town center. So as you can see here, um, we're accruing improvement points uh, from the city. So use these improvement points to um, effectively unlock tile upgrades um, in your cities. And uh, currently we have an option for a hunting camp. Um, we have enough points saved up, rather, we could uh, unlock a hunting camp here. And if you have enough points unlocked for any of these upgrades, you'll see if you click on it, the map will show you uh, recommended areas to build that um, that improvement. I'm actually going to hold off on that just because um, I want to wait till this game is included in our in our borders here. All right. So the first army, uh, let's go ahead and move them down here. Preferred not to attack across the river. Now we can unlock uh, raised tribal army upgrade as well. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. So you'll. S oh, um, yeah, you see it's uh, 10 uh, to raise a tribal army. So. Some of the cool stuff is being able to raise armies um, kind of easier, I suppose, so you can get uh, larger forces earlier in the game than in Civilization. Alright. So, China, level 2 city. Okay. Alright, so we've unlocked Tribal Elders. Now we can build the Council Building. Now, we're so close to China, I'm thinking... Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with defenses, um, unlock archery. Okay. What do we have here? Fair amount, yeah, so three warband, another warband, pretty good military size. Keep scouting around the Chinese and see if we can find any landmarks. Oh, we found another barb. Perfect. All right. I don't know if it's smart to continue to send the scout down south. Uh, assuming China has a scout, maybe they've explored down here already and already popped all the goodie huts. I don't really know. Uh, still at eight improvement points. Excellent. So, oh. <laughs> All right, so two things. Um, our borders have extended to include this game uh, resource here. And we do have enough improvement points that we can utilize that and build a hunting camp. So we'll go, go ahead and do that. So now if we go into Rome... As you can see here, uh, it's being the tiles being worked now. So we're also producing not only food, um, but also bone, or yeah, bone and meat. Um, kind of the cool thing about uh, this game that I've also seen is the um, the chain of resources and how it's developed. So over time, um, you could have a simple resource like a farm, and as technology is developed, um, you can then um, add to that farm's, uh, you know, ability to produce far uh, food by adding mills and other types of innovations that um, extend the, the chain of that resource. And so it's just a way to kind of keep things um, relevant, I think, as the ages progress. And so I, I do like that. All right, so now we've got a barb army north of us. And there's settlement here. Hmm. So, combat prediction, light damage. Yeah. Let's hit him. It'll be great uh, when we unlock archers. Uh, we'll be able to shoot over those walls and deal a fair amount of damage. 
Uh, in two more turns, we'll have access to archers. All right, so we've almost taken the walls down, and they do have defenders inside, so we're going to have to try again next turn. Uh, let's keep scouting down here. Oh, excellent. Temple. Massive temple pyramid lays before you. Its contents and purpose are unknown. Uh, so we can choose Exploration XP or Warfare XP. Gonna have to go f Exploration, I think. Cool. Oh, uh, they are moving to our capital. Perfect. Uh, and I don't have enough two more points and I could raise a tribal army. Well, maybe we can take them out before that. Uh, should be able to take the settlement. So one thing I'm not 100% sold on millennia is this kind of janky combat um, video that pops up every time you engage in combat. I don't think it looks particularly good. Um, and honestly, I could probably do without it. Um, I do kind of know where they're going uh, with uh, this. And it's kind of interesting to see how different mechanics work for each type of unit from melee to range and, and so on and so forth. So I could see the benefit of it, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Okay, so we've taken the Barbarian Camp. Uh, we could take Wealth or Culture. Oh yeah, definitely Culture. Okay, so that Barb Camp's going to stop spawning, so that's, that's excellent. Alright, let's swing north here and see if we can take these guys out. Um, we have enough Culture now. Eh, let's hold off on that for a second. Um... Yeah, don't want to head down that way. I'm thinking maybe bringing the scout up north and going northwest. All right. So, uh, I think we're going to have to raise an army, honestly. I didn't want to have to spend the points this way, but I'm a little worried about this barb here. All right. I don't want them to sack Neems. Okay, cool. Well, I wasn't really concerned that we were going to lose there, but excellent. Good rum save. All right. Going to have to deal with the Chinese player here pretty soon, I think. Okay. Defenses. In, all right. We've learned defenses, so we did unlock archers, and we did get a free archer unit. Okay, so we need another tech before we can advance to the next age. I'm going to go with workers. Uh, that's going to unlock the ability to build clay pits, uh, which really helps with your production early on. All right. Add the archer to that unit here. That looks pretty good. All right, I do want to save um, the governmental points to spawn our first settler. Uh, unfortunately, I had to spend a few points here and there, but uh, we're in a good place now to be able to save. Just have you guys heal for the time being. Another barb. Let's see if we can get around him. Okay, um, so town center is complete. Um... Hmm. I could go another scout cavalry. There's a fair amount of territory up north. It needs to be explored, however. I think council is probably the way to go. That extra knowledge per turn is going to be incredibly valuable. 
Okay, the barb is going after our scout. That's not great. Let's see if we can run away. I'm going to use some of this exploration XP to heal up. Looks like our border is extended again. Uh, not really anything really to spend on. Okay, so... Ah, I could make an early war play against the Chinese here, but I don't know if this is their only settlement. I think what I want to do is try to get some more eyes on their territory here and see what they're working with. So 51 and 12, so an archer and three warband. Three warband, five warband and an archer. We're going to need a few more troops, I think. If we're going to make a play against them, might be the best option. I'm not really seeing... I mean, they're going to box us in if we don't take them out. Oh, they did discover the Sahara Desert. Dang. I was hoping to discover a landmark myself. Let's go ahead and move down to get ready, I think. Ah, just don't know. Maybe. I hate to spend any points. I could spend 14 and get an extra improvement point per turn. But I think the right thing to do is to wait until we can get our first settler at 30 points. Okay. It looks like this might be their only settlement. They do have walls, though. Ah, it's going to be a little tough, I think. Going to need um, probably another archer. Frankly, yeah, I hate to hate to back out of the council, but yeah, I want to get another archer unit. Um, it allows us to shoot over those walls. Ah, goody hut, excellent. All right, workers are done. Now we can uh, start to go to the Age of Bronze, or we could pick up another tech. Uh, go to the Age of Bronze. Uh, we could pick up these techs once we get to the new age for really cheaply. It looks like Greece. Um, yeah, <laughs> must be producing a lot of knowledge. Uh, they're very far ahead of us and researching the next age. That's okay. Mysterious village. Looks very old. People have settled atop ancient ruins holding secrets unknown to your people. Oh yeah. Government XP. Absolutely. Let's spawn our first settler. The nice thing about um, settlers in this game is they are uh, they can actually defend themselves. They do have some combat um, effectiveness. I hate to send them out <laughs> uh, exploring, but uh, they can actually take care of themselves. So, I'm thinking that maybe I just wanted to get some eyes um, around this mountain here and then maybe move uh, back uh, kind of southeast. Might not be a terrible idea to start a city either here at the foot of this river. There's a ton of fish. I hate to have two cities that close. But I don't know how else to grab that fish. 
Hmm. There's marble down here and wheat. Yeah, I'm thinking this looks like a great spot for the city. I'm actually kind of up so that I moved them up here. That's all right. Next turn. Let's have you guys go back this way. All right. Uh, a couple more turns. We'll have our settler. That's fine. Nope, I would like you to go down south. Perfect. Man, tons of fish. Crazy amount of fish. Level 5 city with walls. That's going to be a bear to try to take. Hmm. Might actually grab some more units while we can. All right. All right, so we've entered the Age of Bronze. Or rather, um, Age of Bronze has been unlocked by Greece. Um, so we won't be able to use any of these, um, abilities until we actually enter the age ourselves. Which we are five turns away from. Alright. I think I want to get another warband. You might think that's a little bit overkill, but uh, for a level 5 city with walls, I think we're going to need it. The Goody Hut. And looks like a minor city. Alright. I wonder if the Chinese know what we're planning. <laughs> Alternatively, I mean, let's just let's think about this. Alternatively, could have a city down here opposed to here. One of the things that I wish this game did a better job of would be some of the UI kind of overlays like Civ does, kind of helping you place your cities. Um, get a f ton of food from these fish tiles. Yeah. Marble is also very great for production. As the city expands, I might be able to grab one or two of these. Ah, oh, this is a tough one. You know what? No, I think I think I'm gonna go with my original plan. We're gonna settle down here at this river delta. If you guys think that you'd settle somewhere else, let me know in the comments down below what you would do. I'm thinking that, I mean, either place would be great. Here for the extra fish or down here. All right. Oh, yeah, I'd say China does have, <laughs> does know what we're planning. Level six, man, they're just growing like crazy. I'm not really sure how. I don't see any farming improvements at all. Uh, not even on fresh water. Whatever. That's fine. I actually do have a fair amount of improvement points now here. So let's go ahead and get the clay pit. This is going to increase our improvement points. Our production. So, yeah. So if we go in here. Yeah. Okay, great. Do we have any other points left? Not really. That's fine. Okay, cool. Alright, next turn we can settle. Let's grab this goody hut. Lost archers. Heck yeah. Let them join Rome. Welcome aboard, boys. We can use you. Alright, let's 
get away from this barb camp and head up north. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just have a taking a little picnic uh, north side of your territory. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about here. Nothing to worry about. All right, let's go ahead and settle our second city. Bitty alarm. All right, so, uh, so in millennia, um, when you settle a city or you newly conquer a city, um, you don't instantly get access to the city. Um, it's a vassalized city. Um, so over turns, um, it does produce a small amount of income, um, from, let's see if it's, here we are. Yeah, see, as you can see here, it's producing a very small amount of money, uh, knowledge, improvements, culture, that sort of thing. Um, so over time, um, you'll be able to integrate this city. So it's got to tick down here and get to the point where you can integrate it, and then you have to spend some points to, um, to incorporate that city fully. But the cool thing is, is um, you can vassalize a ton of cities for fairly cheaply, and they're all going to be able to produce a small amount of income. So, all right. Ah, slow going, slow going. Let's actually break the scout off again here. And we can send those archers up here. Hmm, I have enough culture again. We could add another town. Might be a good idea. Let's see if we can grab this fish. Thraku. And I did notice uh, we have a barb unit that somehow or another just spawned. I don't know where they came from. This was <laughs> totally in vision. Ah... Uh, I think we're going to have to spawn a tribal army. Dang it. Yeah. Not the most ideal. Let's see. Let's see if I pull these guys back. Barbs are a, a constant problem. Oh, they discovered a jungle as well. Perfect. Let's go ahead and... Ah, queue up another archer. Alright, we made it to the Age of Bronze. Excellent. Oh, China's... Okay. And they're declaring hostilities with us. Not great. Alright, so we did technically win that fight. Heavy damage, no damage dealt. Dang. Alright. Go ahead and choose our national spirits. So you get to do this four separate times. So the first time is age two. Uh, so this is where we'll be picking our kind of national spirits for uh, this age and really cool bonuses to come along with it and everything and kind of start to build out our culture is a unique thing. So, um, hmm. so it looks like we've got a few options here. Um, you can see here that, um, so it's separated by three. So you got the exploration, warfare, engineering, diplomacy here. So, um, you can see other players have chosen, uh, these two already. Um, so Greece has chosen one of these. I wonder which one. Raiders is really good. It's one of the benefits of actually getting to an age first yourself is that you get to choose the first one. Um, you get some other perks and bonuses. 
yeah, Raiders is really good. Uh, you can get a bunch of Raider bands, and they really just kind of spawn off one another, and you can just produce endless amounts of Warfare XP. Um, God King is pretty cool. Unlock Pyramids. Uh, wild Hunters for bows. A lot of meat. This could have been useful, actually. We have a lot of game around. Hmm. I think we're about to be in a pretty nasty war with China, so... I think I'm going to have... Well, I do like the Spartans. They're pretty cool. Yeah, let's go with Spartan. All right, we will definitely use it. We'll use some Warfare XP and spawn in Spartans. Cool. So these guys are pretty cool. Um, let's go here and try to take care of this barb. I think these guys are going to be late to the party. There's so much forest. If I can get to the plains. Alright, so we made it to the Bronze Age. What do we want? Hmm. Mining is pretty cool. Um, be able to use that marble around us. But I think, I mean, we're playing Rome, playing kind of a militaristic game. It's kind of the, the bent I'm going with. So, and we're just, we're about to have a war of China. So I think we just got to go with discipline here. It's going to give us spear uh, units, some other reinforcements. This reinforcement option here for um, that you'll be able to utilize is pretty powerful. Chariots, not so much, but yeah, let's go ahead and rush discipline as much as possible. And we have another barb. Barb's becoming an issue again. I wonder if there's a barb settlement over here in this peninsula. Might be. Let's have you guys heal up a bit in friendly territory. Here's the settlement down here. They guess they could be coming down from here. Mm. I had said we were on the hills. We get a 20% to our defense. Doesn't look very hilly to me. Man, they hit for a lot. Have you guys heal up. Yeah, uh, we're getting a lot of Warfare XP, so that's pretty handy, though. Alright. Hmm. Let's get that council, finally. Been putting it off forever. Blocked <laughs> Oh man. These barbs really want to come after me. Yeah, 
borders expand again. This is just a massive city. A massive city. And it looks like they already have better units. Raider bands. Oh. This is not, not good. Not good. China chose the Raider um, option for National Spirits. So they have Raiders. Oh, geez. Okay. I think we're going to have to reconsider this, this war thing. Possibly. We're going to need more uh, Spartans in our army. Those Raiders are super nasty. That sucks. Now, it's not, it's not uh, insurmountable or anything by any means, but... Those those raiders will just tear through our war bands like nothing, like tissue paper. Let's get better improvement points here. I haven't been spending these. That's another thing that I kind of wish this game did a better job of is reminding me to spend my improvement points. I've got a lot of options here, but I just never remember to spend them. So it just kind of goes wasted there. So... Um... Let's see. Let's get a hunting camp. That's right. I can't put a hunting camp here because we haven't incorporated this town yet. Um, could do a dock, potentially. That would increase our wealth and exploration XP. Fishing boats. It's kind of hard to see this tile here. And it's on land for whatever reason, but... Yeah, try to get that the growth back as close to 200% as we can. All right, let's check this out. Okay, cool. Yeah, they're working that fish style. Excellent. So that's going to help us grow a little bit faster. Ah, the growth is just not great. Uh, oops. It's a tough one. We don't really worry about housing yet. Maybe a dock? Yeah, why not? Okay, so we have a utility ship. Ship designed for resource collection rather than warfare. So can I send them to... Possibly. Looks like maybe next turn. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Not great. Uh, our poor archer didn't stand a chance. Okay. So that's how we're going to play it, huh? Very well. Four turns away. Not a problem here. So we can harvest the goods. So this is this is cool. You can harvest these tiles without actually having your borders on them. Like that. And as you can see here, we're yeah, 200% growth now. Perfect. These barbs are not going to leave that cavalry alone. Oh my god, there's so many of them down there. To get out of this forest. So we can use government XP twenty five now to incorporate media long. Spartans have no upkeep cost per turn. Is it, oh, I like that. Yeah, they're rather pricey. Oh, 
Okay. Try to get this up to 25. Have you boys stand in place. God, there's just barbs and Chinese everywhere. To be fair, I, I think we... <laughs> I think we upset them uh, by standing next to their borders, so that's totally understandable. Okay, so we have our council, so we're going to be producing more um, knowledge points. Excellent. I didn't want to, but get the palisade walls. I don't know what this war is going to be. And they have those Raider Warbands, which are pretty nasty. Ah, <sighs> not really sure. Um, so, Hangzhou is... Uh, Hangzhou? Uh, is... Just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I'm not really sure how. I mean, it must be all this grassland. I don't see any farm improvements. Maybe this, this olive here. But, um... And so they have at least uh, one, if not two, Raider Warbands... Um, they also have regular military, and, uh, yeah, they're really dug in, so. But, honestly, the only way that this is going to work is we're going to have to come down here and uh, take them out. I'd like to have more Spartans under our command um, first. Uh, so, if you look at Warband here, so, defense of 10, health 50, attack 7. So, attack 16, defense 24, health 50. That's a huge bump up. Mm -hmm. But, unfortunately, to get that, um, we're going to have to wait until we have more Warfare XP. But, uh, yeah. I think this is probably a good place to, uh, to leave this episode here as we continue to build our forces. Um, first and foremost... I, we're going to have to come down and deal with the Chinese and then see if we can maybe... I'd like to expand um, after we take this city, expand down here and grab this other fish. Um, also, see if we can make contact with this minor settlement down here and see what they're rocking. Um, and then continue to explore westward here and see where the other players are. But, uh, you know, so far I, I'm liking where we are um, in our setup. And I think we're in a pretty good place to uh, to build out and everything here. So remember to uh, to like. And uh, if you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Um, and we'll be back with you soon with uh, episode two. Thanks, everybody. Take care.